Now we're going to locate and plot the following set of numbers on a number line. Then we're going to arrange them in ascending and descending order. These are the numbers. It's 0 0.02, negative square root of 16, square root of 14, 12 over 5, negative 6.2 bar. 2 and 2 third. So these are different numbers and they are real numbers. So we're going to plot them them in a number line. So this is the number line and we did not write numbers yet. So it's best kapag ganito siya, kapag iba -iba, we're going to write them in decimal form. So in, this is in the decimal form. So it's already 0 0.02. Para malaman natin kung sino talaga mas malaki, sino mas maliit. Negative square root of 16 is Ano number kapag i-times sa sarili niya? It's, it's 16. That's positive. Negative 4. But again, we're just going to consider yung positive lang muna. So, negative 4. Negative siya. Negative. Copy the negative square root of 16 is 4. Na, square root of 14. Square root of 14. It's... Um, diba? It's square root of 14. Ang square root of 14 is between... 9 at saka 16. Kasi ang 9 is 3 times 3. So, 1, 4, 9, 16. 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4. So, between siya 16. So, it's either 3 point blank blank. So, if we're going to try yung mga numbers, 3 points, 3 point, ano, we're going to come up na it's 3.74 if we do the estimating. 3.74 positive siya. Kasi again, we're just going to consider yung positive muna. So, 12 over 5, gawin natin decimal. Again, 12 divided by 5. It could be 12 divided by 5. So, 12 divided by 5, it's 2. Kasi 2 times 5 is 10 minus 2. Dagdag ka ng 0. Dagdag ka ng 0. Lagyan mo decimal point. 20, magiging 20 na siya, divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 5, 20 minus 0. So this is 2.4. This is negative 6.2 bar. Ito naman siya is 2 and 2 third. So 2.2 third is 2 divided by 3. So 2 divided by 3 cannot be. So dagdagan mo ng 0, dagdagan mo ng decimal point. So, 20 divided by 3, 6, kasi 6 times 3 is 18, minus mo, 2, 2 na naman, 2, so paulit-ulit lang yan na 2, so magiging 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 yan, or 0. 0.6 bar, so 0. 0.6 bar. So, positive, ang 2 and 2 third is 2.6 bar. So, ngayon, this is the small places na, so we know na kung hanggang saan ang numbers. So, sa negative, ito siya ang pinakamalayo, 6.2. So, until 7 siya. So, bukong 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. So, positive naman, pinakamalaki sa positive is 3.4. Ang pinakamalayo is 3.74. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. So, after 3.74, 4. Next, we're just going to estimate in here. So, we're just going to plot kung saan ang pinaka-estimate natin na where could be located that one. 0 0.02, ibig sabihin yan, after ng 0. So, after siya ng 0, kasi 0 0.02. Kung 1.02, pagkatapos siya ng 1. Ito, 0 0.02, so after ng ng 0. Tapos 0, 2 ibig sabihin malapit siya masyado sa sa 0. So it's in here. Dapat malapit siya sa 0. So ito siya, si 0 0.02 We'll make it closer. So 0 0.02 So negative square root of 16 is equal to negative 4 So negative 4. So ito siya so, negative square root of 16. Next, C square root of 14 is 3.74. So, 3.74. So, at halimbawa mo, kung atiin mo yun sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, alam mo ko, 7, tapos, hindi siya sa 7. So, so after ng 7 sa gitna, 
Almost sa gitna siya ng 7 at saka ni 8. So, it's in here, 3.74. So, estimate mo lang saan siya. 3.74. Kasi 3.7. So, again, 3.7 siya. So, estimate mo lang yun siya. Halimbawa, ito siya. Kung hatiin mo siya, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sa 7 siya. After siya ng 7. Before siya ng 8. So, git, halos sa gitna siya ng 7 at saka 8. Kasi 3.74. Next, 2.4. 2.4, ibig sabihin siya, pagkatapos siya ng 4. Kung atiin mo yan siya sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sa ika 4 siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yan siya si 2.4. So, at, ito siya. Yun siya ang number. Na kapag atiin mo sila, yun siya ang ika ilang equal parts yan sa ika-4 siya sa isa ika-4 so dito po si 2.4 na it's negative square negative 6.2 bar so negative 6 so as you will know kapag bibilang ka kapag negative papunta doon so before siya ng negative 6 so sa negative 6 Hatiin mo siya, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, hatiin mo siya sa 10. So, ika-2 siya, 1, 2. Kasi 2 bar siya, ibig sabihin, may sunod pa siya ng number. So, hindi talaga siya sa 2. Ibig sabihin, after siya ng 2. So, sa negative 6.2 bar. These are just estimate. It's not really the exact. So, 2.6 bar. Ito siya si 2.4. So, ibig sabihin, si 2.6 bar ay sa ika-6. Pero kasi may bar siya, ibig sabihin, sa gitna siya ng 6 at saka 7. So, here. This is 2.6 bar. So, tapos na natin lahat. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we're going to arrange them in ascending. Ascending is from smallest to greatest. So, the smallest number, ito siyang dito sa gilid. Galing dito, patungod doon, yan siya is ascending order. Descending order naman, galing dito, patungod doon. So, ascending order, it's negative 6.2 bar, negative square root of 16, sunod is 0 0.02, sunod is 2.4, sunod is 2.6 bar, and the greatest number, pinakamalaking number is 2.74. Next, descending naman is balik rin mo lang yung ascending. So, ang pinakamalaking number is 3.74. Descending is from greatest to lowest. So, 3.74. Sunod is 2.6 bar. Sunod is 2.4. Sunod 0.02. Sunod, negative square root of 16. Sunod naman is negative 6.2 bar. Halimbawa kung wala kang number line. So, halimbawa kung ganito. 0 0.4, negative 1.23, 2 thirds, and 1.7. So, we're going to arrange them in descending. Ibig sabihin ng descending is from the greatest to the lowest. Pababa. So, dito, sa palagay mo, saan ang pinakamalak pinakamalaking number? We know na ang two-third, sa solving natin kanina, ang two-third, it's 0 0.6 bar. So, 0 0.6 bar siya. So, itong two-thirds, 0 0.6 bar. So, ibig sabihin, ang pinakamalaking number dito is si 1.7. Sunod, check natin yan. Sunod or, sunod is si, sunod, sino mas malaki? 0 0.4 si 0 0.6. Yes, yeah, so very good si 0 0.6 bar. Sunod is si 0 0.4. Ngayon, ang pinakamalait is si negative 1.23. However, halimbawa may negative 2.6. 2.46 pala. Sino dyan ang mas maliit? Si negative 1 or si negative 2? Sinong sunod na 0 0.4? Si negative 1.23 or si negative 2.46? Sa ano naman? Sa negative number. Halimbawa kung kunin mong negative, kung ang mas malaking, mas malaking absolute value, 
yun siya ang mas maliit. Or, halimbawa, kung ito siya, kung hindi mo isipin mo ng negative, kung sino mas malaki sa kanila, yun siya ang nasa dulo. So, 2.426, kung positive, malaki siya, pero kung negative, siya ang pinakamaliit. So, ibig sabihin, 1.23 dito, negative 1.23. 1.23. Kung, kung positive siya again, mas malaki diba siya kung positive. However, kasi negative siya, ibig sabihin mas maliit siya. Kasi mas malayo siya sa zero, ito mas malapit to sa zero. So, this is the descending order.